Okay, so what are the ideas that we want to do here? Okay, so firstly is about we want to see the model updates and also what are the comparison between the first version and also the second version. So this one, okay, the rabbit file that I open to you guys is actually on the version one. Okay, so what I need to do next, I'm going to do some modification here. I'm going to uh, remove some of the column. I'm going to add the column and also I'm going to make uh, some modification on the fall here. Okay, so I will save it and I will name it as the version two. And then the next part is we are going to append both of the files inside the version to perform the model comparisons. Okay, so here I'm going to delete it. <coughs> here on the column here, I delete it. Okay, and then I just uh, edit some new things here. So I just click copy. Okay, so let's say that I move it uh, around 10,000. Okay, so I'm going to make some modification here. So it looks okay. All right, so we got first dated, second added, and this one I'm going to modify this thing. So I'm going to edit the boundary, and then I'm going to drag, okay, this line until here. All right, okay, looks nice, and I click finish. So now, uh, this is the thing that I want to say. So this one gonna be, I assume this one's gonna be my version two, okay? So I will save it, file, save as project, so this one, I'm going to put it as uh, V2 here, okay, V2. So on the option, I just make it one, and then I click save. <coughs> okay, it's done, so I close this one. So I'm going to uh, share, my, uh, share my screens on the Navis work here. Okay, so here are this thing that I uh, that we need to do. I'm going to append it again on the dot rpt file. Okay, so make sure that it is on the slot two. Okay, show so this one version one and also version two. I'm going to append both of the model here. Okay, All right. So <coughs> um, what is the thing? Sorry. So while waiting for uh, for the result to process the extraction, so I'm going to launch second quizzes here. So what is the main function of Navisworld prior to the BIM tool? So is it a BIM authoring tool or is it the BIM registration tool? Okay. So this one is quite pretty straightforward question. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So some of you answer for the BIM authoring tool. Some of you answering for the BIM visualization tool. All right. <clears throat> so we just wait until uh, the model has been abandoned inside Navis work. So I uh, can see most of the people are reaching so, uh, are selecting on the second one. Okay, so I will stop my ampulling here. So the answer is actually it is about the big resolutions too, because you can uh, you just only can review okay whatever model inside the Navis work, but you can gonna do some modification. So in order for you to start do some modification in the Navis you need to go back to your native file. Okay. All right. So this one is the answer on the B here. It is a beam visualization tool. All right. And then I'm going to close. So this one is on my model here. <clears throat> so in order for you to start <clears throat> uh, we call it as the a compatible here. So on the selection point here, you need to select on the V1 and also you click on control key and then select on the version two here. So notice that both will be highlighted. Okay. And then you need to go to the compare here. Okay. And then this is the things or the character that you need to fit in. So this one gonna be the input and this one gonna be the output which is on result. Okay. So in this case, I just selecting all. Okay, I want to see what the difference in the type, in the unique ID, in the name. If I don't want it, I just uncheck it. If I want, I just okay. I think it's okay to see what are the difference. And then <clears throat> on the right side here, what is the result here? Okay, uh, we we got two. Okay, so this is actually really confusing. Okay, when we talk about safe isolation set and safe each different set as set. Okay, so we are going to look it later and I will explain what are the differences. 
And this is the thing that uh, the highlight result. Okay, uh, make sure that you check this one because we want to do what are the in terms of the color scheme. Okay, we got a white color, red color, cyan color, and also the yellow color, right? Remember that? <coughs> All right. <coughs> um, so on here, so on here, I'm going to click on the OK here. Okay. And then notice that this one is the thing that is highlighted. Okay, you can see the red one. Okay, it is the item on the differences. <coughs> okay, so notice that this one, the yellow one is the item that has been uh, removed. And the cyan is actually the things that has been added. Okay, and then the white color here is actually the thing that is remain unchanged here. Okay. Okay, now we got the visualizations result. So what if you want to check what are the things that is in the difference here, okay? So uh, you need to go to the set here, click on the manage set. So this is the thing that's been saved, okay? And if you want to see uh, what is the differences uh, in detail, okay, you can go to the comment here. Just go to the review here, all right? <coughs> to write review here and then click on the view comment here, okay? Okay, so you can see that this one is, once I selected one of them, it will be highlighted right here. You can check from here <coughs> on the left here. And this is that 394 item is met. So basically V1 and V2 going to be the same. Okay, you going to show the same result here. Okay, and then this is what are the differences here. Okay, you can see the differences between one V1 and also V2. So this is the information, okay, in terms of the occurrence, okay. And then uh, the unmatched here, okay, you can see there is a four item is unmatched here, okay. So this is the thing that you can look into later. And if you uh, if you notice that this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one's going to be uh, the selection set, same as selection set. So this one's going to be a different part. Why? Because this one it will display you one by one here, okay, information. Um, okay, actually, I forgot one step here. I forgot to put a name on the manufacturer name, okay, to indicate the difference between the B4, okay, which is on one B2, but it's okay. But if you, if let's say on the column here, you put specify on the name of the manufacturer, it will display here what are the differences, right? 